Sorry I'm late for the Oklahoma video. I had to shoot the total eclipse, so that kind of messed everything up. But today is round two. Unfortunately, I somehow didn't record myself on hole one, but it's going to be the same exact thing. I'm keeping score of the practice round, then also the tournament round. And good news, I did find my A2. I had to go back. You know I couldn't leave that thing. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and we're going to start on hole two. Nothing special. 230 feet parking lot OB long. Got the A2 back, so we'll go ahead and break this puppy in. Just a nice little hyzer outright, having it drift back to the basket. OB does come up quick. I mean, the road's probably 20 feet behind the basket. Definitely left some meat on the bone with the A2. Probably looking at about a 25 footer. Yikes. Double yikes. Triple yikes. All right, who knew this would be the hardest hole today? It says hole three, 326, there's no shot. This looks like the same exact hole that we just played. I'm gonna go Envy this time, right at the basket. It probably plays like 230, 240. Leaving myself these testy putts. See if we can get our little bounce back this time. That's better, a little bounce back. I've been missing low a lot recently and I think it's just because I'm not fully committing. Like I'm just almost getting the arm there. I gotta really punch through the basket and remind myself to do that. And right back down the hill we go. It's saying 295, they're capping. Let's actually see how far this is. 280. It looks so much closer than what it really is. A2 again, I can afford a big hyzer so I might as well take advantage of it. Be parked. Nice. The winning score for this weekend is going to be like 20 something under. I mean, these courses are pretty easy. So far, everything's just wide open hyzers. Hole five, 300 feet, baskets just behind the tree. A little too far for my A2, so next best is the pyro. Same shot, just kind of throwing a big hyzer. There is a hill, so I don't want to get too close to the edge. Gives me a good skip right down there to the edge, probably 25, 30 footer. There's definitely a little bit more OB out here at this course, about 20 feet to the left, also some OB long. That is the game plan though, just a big wide hyzer. In case I do go out of bounds, I can just meter in, have the easy par putt. That's that low stuff I was talking about, get the arm up. Cannot afford to be missing easy putts. Hole six, 551 feet, Manda tree, big forehand, and then the basket's kind of on the other side of all those woods. This road comes up quick, so I might either go fairway or just like a very overstable distance driver, like the time lapse, and just kind of hug this tree on a lot of hyzer. Do not want to go OB long. I think that's good. Ah, I might have ended up in those trees, but at least I'm not OB long. I did end up here in the bushes, thankfully not out of bounds. I didn't even know there was a line here, but out of bounds is a play. I don't have to go forehand approach. I can't afford to get a lot more distance off the tee. Just a little standstill A2 approach <sighs> on an elevated basket. Huh, definitely not the putt you wanna leave yourself. Elevated downhill. Like I said, I definitely can afford to get a lot more distance off the tee. Backhand turnover is even a play, but we'll definitely run this putt in the meantime. Looks like it stayed close though. Oh my gosh, they rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, this is so uphill. Wow, that is a, look how elevated this thing is. Like me standing next to it. That hoe is tall. It was an ugly par, but we got one. Back to the simple shots, 298 feet, kind of right there at the corner of the road. So OB is still in play, but as long as I put the A2 out wide enough, I shouldn't really have to deal with any of that OB. I almost went out of bounds. Dude, that's twice now. I said that in the last video and I went into a casino parking lot. I got as close to the OB as absolutely possible, but I still am in. What are we, six holes in? It's been the same like 280 foot hyzer shot every single time. Oh, Nate. By the way, I'm keeping my practice round score and the tournament score. And at this point, hopefully the tournament score is doing a lot better than my practice round. You know, it is the same shot over and over again, and I'm still playing like a bozo. On to hole eight, downhill 350 feet, and it's pretty, pretty downhill. So A2 again, because apparently I'm throwing this thing like 300. So I'm just gonna keep throwing the same exact shot on all these holes. There we go, just keep them close. Putters out here being weird right now. So the reason I keep throwing the A2 instead of the Envy on some of these holes is it's pretty calm out here right now, so I can get away with throwing this A2, and then if the wind picks up and I got some weird like headwind or something, I can just disc up, throw the pyro, and it'll be the same exact shot. So this dude's getting a lot of playing time. Not throwing the A2 on this hole though. It's uphill, 411 feet. It's probably gonna play closer to 430, 440. So a more stable DD3, putting it on a lot of hyzer, that way it can kind of flip up this hill and kind of get me the distance that I need. Now give me that finish back. Perfect. It's one of those days where I need to put the disc as close as I can to the basket. I know I've been talking a lot about my putter. I've been pretty consistent inside C1 and then we've just had a week of 30 mile an hour winds. 
and I've been kind of trying to pay attention to like my nose angle and what the disc does on like right to left winds and headwinds and things like that. So I've really been overthinking the putts and I think that's kind of screwed me because I got to a point where if I was inside C1, it was like a no brainer. And now I'm like, like I said, I think I'm just way overthinking. It. I'm gonna have to kind of slow it back down on the putting green, go back through the motions, counting the head, not overthink anything. 183 feet, basket's just behind the woods. I mean, there's a gap. You're not gonna be able to hook back off. It's just kind of that'll put you in the circle's edge. I might try the grenade over the top though and see how that does. All right, that one went a little too far to the right. Good thing I got a lot of FD3s here. Gonna have to release this one more to the left. That way it'll drift right to the basket. That looks a lot better. Yeah, that one's right next to the basket. We'll go with that one. Nice little tombstone, probably 25 feet away. Go ahead and get out both of these since I need practice on the putting green. Right to left wind, go through the motions. Ah, gotta keep them up. All right, now we're on to hole 11. Again, basket's kind of sitting in the corner of the road. This one's a little too far for the A2, so I'm gonna go pyro. Again, just kind of playing a big wide hyzer to the basket. Just hyzer, 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 hyzer. I can definitely feel that the energy's a little low right now, and I think that's because I'm dehydrated. I forgot to get water. And it's not too hot out here. It's only 78 degrees, but I think your boy needs a little bit of wah wah. There we go. Still dehydrated, but we getting birdies. All right, we got hole 12, 310 feet. Kind of a straight shot in between those two trees. Um, 310 with the tailwind. I'm gonna go with the... Uh, let go. I'm gonna go with the Horizon MD1. I think an MD could get there, but I think with the MD1 though, I can kind of play a smooth turnover shot and not worry about leaving it short. Not really a turnover, just kind of straight with the finish. That might be in the circle. I got another MD1, so I can actually play the turnover this time. That's what I was trying to do. A little bit better. So I thought about the forehand, but I just realized all of this to the left is actually out of bounds. So I don't want to saw something off. I'd rather have a backhand coming in. That way I've got all this open space out here to the left. Both shots ended up being okay. Again, leaving me right at about that 20 foot range. Oh, dang. First one was a miss. That second one was kind of dirty. Another little chip shot, 193 feet, busting out the A2 again, except this time with a forehand. Probably just going to do a standstill. It's not that far, just more of a chip shot than anything. Skip in. Huh. Some sticky grass. Should be an easy birdie. So I think my goal for this weekend is to take no bogeys. There's really nothing dangerous out here as far as OB other than that one mando hole that we had early. I think the only way that I'm going to get OBs is running circle two putts. So I'm going to have to kind of choose those battles wisely. So yeah, just get the birdies when they come. Don't do anything stupid. This is a tempting hole to do something stupid. It's a par four, 530 feet. OB right the whole way. I would probably get a little greedy on this hole if there wasn't a bunch of houses off to the right. I'm just going to go over stable, prototype DD3. And I'm just going to play a big hyzer out wide. Have it carry OB, but it'll be over stable enough to get back into the fairway. That is all I want. Middle of the fairway, pitch up, hopefully get a putt on this elevated basket. Probably 160, 70 feet away. I'm gonna go just a little nose up bid towards the basket. Gotta put this close because it is elevated. Looks good. I know there's an OB road long. And it looks like I did kind of crush it a little bit. Yeah, this road OB long comes into play quick and I just made this way more elevated than I need it to be. One's right in the face. I mean, this is literally like 15 feet, but it's also 15 feet high. One more. This would be a good way to practice getting my hand up. Ah. Player two is garbage. Look how freaking elevated this basket is. 330 feet. I think because of the slope of the hill, I'm going to have to go forehand. So I'll bust out the Doombird 4. I do see a street back there, ah, so I don't want to go side. too long with this. Neat dog. Well, I guess we get to practice C2s. Downhill putt, probably 40 feet. Little bitty headwind, but not too much at all. There we go. 337 feet downhill, probably only plays about 300. I would go A2 out wide, but there's this little electrical pole that I just, I don't want to flirt with that at all. It's so open out here on the left side. Just take advantage of it. FD3 really far out wide. It's not far out wide. I keep releasing early. Literally the same exact putt we just had. Probably 35, 40 feet into a little bit of a headwind in the middle low. Got the height, miss left. Hole 17, 307 feet. I'm just gonna keep throwing this forehand until I get it dialed down. I'm gonna need it at some point. I have not been able to trust it yet. There we go. Woo! Finally. That's a little confidence booster. We're now one for three with the forehand. All right, 
Last hole, 950 feet par five. I have absolutely no idea where the basket's at. I know it's playing along this water, so uh, I'm just gonna boom my DD3 out there. I also know that the road's OB, so uh, I guess I'm just, I'm gonna go over stable, kind of hit it on some Annie. I know it'll fight out of it. I shouldn't really bring that water into play. Looks like a good shot. It's gonna finish. And then hopefully we can see the basket from there. We've got eyes on the target. I can see his head kind of poking up over this hill. I can also see a road right behind the basket. I don't think that road's really gonna come into play on this shot because there's no chance that I'm getting there on one. But I'm gonna go Heiser flip with my blue DD3. Oh, I got super lucky through that tree. All right, we're down there. Try to end this one on a nice little healthy bid with the Envy. Just gonna send this thing. Oh my gosh, there's a dog coming. There's two dogs coming. Those things are big. Hopefully they're nice. All right, here we go. Throwing it in with the Envy. Nope, parked off though. In and on a birdie. I'm gonna go get some water because my tongue is dry and we'll check in with tournament Nate and see how the tournament's going. Without a doubt, that was the most miserable time I've ever had playing disc golf. Easily the most windiest round I've ever played. I saw some stuff that should be illegal. People were hitting the basket the disc would go in the air and then fly 40 feet out of bounds. Oh my gosh. It was not fun by any means. Shot one down. I start off pretty hot. I was hitting some putts and then that Mando hole, I took a triple bogey, managed to bounce back, hit some birds. And then I had a tap in that turned into a bogey. Oklahoma, I am not a fan of you. You guys are built different and I hate your course. No, I'm just kidding. I do kind of hate the courses, but I'm going to go home. Two hour drive. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Peace.